So we have created item types and attached to elements. Now we will see how to utilize them. Annotation tools like notes, labels, text fields can extract item type property values to be placed as text. In the following snapshot, we have a place note tool extracting room details as text fields. In the next snapshot, a label placeholder cell is used to extract the IP address of a computer object and uh, place them as text. In this example, we have used text fields to extract item type property values to be used in a title block. The title block information need not be only from item type property values. It can be from various sources like workspa workspace, workset, file name, logged in user, etc. This use case is just to demonstrate usage of item types in title block, which offers consistency and eliminates some repetitive and error prone manual input. We can create our own display styles and apply some display rules based upon property values attached to elements. These custom display styles can be used to change the display of on-screen elements. The good thing about this feature is when you use the print tools, these display styles are carried over to the print output or PDF. In the following snapshot, we have created a display style to highlight all the computers and gray out the other features. A key requirement of any pro project is to create various reports. Reports will be covered in more detail in another session, but we'll briefly cover this now. Here is an example of property-driven tables that is generated by reports. And in the attached snapshot, we have a report listing computer feature properties. This report can also be placed as a table element. Here are some support queries. Like any reporting requirement, you may want the output in a certain format. You may extract element length and add some calculations. You may want the decimal part of the element length to be turned off. And in some cases, you may want to combine multiple property values. In this example, the input value is the element length. And the required output was to combine the element length with some character coding, ABC. We ended up using the .NET system.string format function via the item type expression. Now let's see the discussed features in a demo. This is a building data set. We have items like uh, rooms, computers, furniture, attached to graphical elements. We will look at property-driven annotation, display styles, rules, reports and tables. We will start with the annotation tool, navigate to the annotate menu and click on the place label tool. Let's place a label with leader which is using a cell that is extracting the IP address of this computer feature. We will set the leader to start at the terminator Turn on Relative Association option. Now select the computer object and place the label. Let's label another element. Now let's use the Modify tool and swap the insertion points. You can see the IP address dynamically changing and this is because the relative association option was on. Let's annotate some rooms using the place note tool. I will use the text favorite room details and is built upon the text fields. Select the room object and place the note. Let's place another note and you will see the property values are automatically extracted.
you also have options to turn on or off the text field background and this can be done via the view attributes dialog in this example we have used text fields to extract item type property values to be used in a title block and can be placed as a cell double click to edit and update the title block values this is one use case where item types can be used to automate title block creation and this offers consistency and will save you a lot of time here is a traditional display style you can create property driven display styles which are based upon display rules In this case we have added a rule to check if a feature is PC and if you has changed the color of the element to red all the other features color is set to gray we have other rules built into for furnitures and rooms let's now try applying the property driven display styles You can see all the elements which has item type PC is displayed as red and other elements as gray. In this display style all the rooms are displayed in red. Here you see all the furnitures furnitures are displayed in blue. and when you use these in the print tools the display styles are carried over to the output pdf so let's look at the reports feature you have a library and then can have various reports under them here is a report pc list which has some columns you can add additional columns apply some sorting rules and there are other options you can preview the results and place the report as a table you have various options like the table style which can be built upon like any reporting requirement you may want the output in a certain format we'll use an expression in this example to get the desired results let me create a new property item type and use an expression to get the uh, linear length i'll use this dot get element and search for length i'll use the total length and let's test the expression You can also apply some calculations. Let's check the result. Now let's try and apply some string formatting. Search for uh, string functions. select the format function you have some examples on how to use this function apply the required formatting i'll apply a formatting where it displays two decimal values let's check the results Now the requirement was to have zero decimal values so I'll remove the formatting and also add some codes 
to the starting of the string and let's check the results in this expression here we have used other functions like the system dot math dot round to remove the decimal values and then convert it to a string and then add some coding to starting of the string and we'll see these results in in the report Let's preview results and see the report values. Even though the expression is displaying the same results, you can see uh, in the report it still reports the decimal values. And we have played around with the string format function to get the required results in the reports. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.